Hello and welcome to What It Is, a place where we talk about the ways U.S. immigration laws affect everyone. Today, we're going to answer the question, what is a Stokes interview? Hi, I'm Michael Ruddle, immigration attorney and founder at Ruddle Law PC based in Torrance, California, where we practice immigration law in all 50 states. So what is a Stokes interview? Also known as a marriage fraud interview or just a fraud interview, it refers to Anytime somebody applies for a green card based on marriage to a U.S. citizen, part of that process requires an in-person interview with the Citizenship and Immigration Service. Usually, the applicant and spouse attend the interview together, but when a couple is separated, that is what is commonly referred to as a Stokes interview. The name comes from a federal court case called Stokes v. INS, which dealt with the issue of the government's ability to investigate whether a marriage is bona fide or fraudulent. If a marriage is considered fraudulent, it means the government thinks the marriage only took place for the sole purpose of getting a green card. What happens at the Stokes interview? Usually, the Stokes interview occurs when the marriage occurred while an applicant is in removal proceedings, or when the documentation is not good enough to prove the marriage is bona fide. This is why it's important to make sure your case is well documented so you can avoid getting separated. If the immigration officer decides to proceed with the Stokes interview, the officer will explain the procedure to both spouses, and then once separated, you can expect the immigration officer to ask very personal and invasive questions to both spouses, and then compare the answers for inconsistencies. Some sample questions may include, but not limited to, how did you meet? How did your relationship evolve? Who proposed? When was the proposal? Was there a ring at the proposal? Walk me through your front door and describe your house. When was the last time you and your spouse had a date together? Where did you go on that date? What did you wear on that date? What did your spouse wear? How did you get to the interview today? Who drove? Which route did you take? Who woke up first today? You were your spouse. Did your spouse eat breakfast before coming here today? And on and on and on. There is not much limitation on the types of questions the immigration officers can ask during a Stokes interview. This should go without saying, but if you don't remember some detail asked of you during an interview, it's always better to say, I don't know or I don't remember, than to try to make up an answer you think the officer wants to hear. Honesty is always the best policy, and besides, remember, you're under oath. After questioning both spouses separately, the immigration officer will then bring the couple into the same room and give them a chance to explain any inconsistencies. Remember, the burden is on the couple to explain the details of their life and convince the immigration officer that they intended to establish a life together and didn't get married just to get a green card. If the immigration officer believes a bona fide relationship exists, then the case will be approved. However, if the immigration officer has reasons to believe the couple married for the sole purpose of getting a green card, then the case will be denied as a fraudulent marriage and the applicant could end up in removal proceedings. It's important to be thoroughly prepared if you are concerned about a possible Stokes interview. It's also probably a good idea to consult with an experienced immigration attorney to help you prepare for the interview and even attend the interview with you. If you have questions or are concerned about an upcoming interview, contact Ruddle Law today to see if we can help you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button, click that bell, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and follow us on Facebook to stay up to date for the ways U.S. immigration law affects everyone. As for a Stokes interview, that's what it is. Until next time, I'm attorney Michael Ruddle. Keep climbing that mountain. Thank <laughs> you.